What's going on guys? Chef Freddy here from the Gilmore School of Culinary Arts. Today, hey folks, we're gonna focus on making turkey meatballs. A nice healthy way for you to get a good source of protein, super flavorful. Um, many of the ingredients, um, when it comes to the herbs, you can change out week over week if you want a different flavor profile. Um, you know, you can add in some ginger, you can add in some soy sauce if you wanna have like a, you know, Asian style. Um, so we'll go through the basic ingredients here. We'll get them mixed up, we'll get them portioned out. Um, then we'll come back to you with the finished product, all right? So I have one pound of lean um, ground turkey. I have one third cup of uh, breadcrumbs. I have a third cup of minced onions. I have two cloves of garlic chopped up. I have a quarter cup of parsley. Again, so this parsley can be cilantro, it could be green onions, it could be thyme. Um, you can make them more savory, use some thyme, use some uh, rosemary if you like. So you can change out your herb there. I also have Worcestershire sauce and mustard. Mustard I'm using as a binding agent. I'm not putting any eggs into this. Um, so the mustard, you know, you should keep. You can cut back on it. I have uh, two tablespoons of mustard and I have a quarter cup of, um, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So two tablespoons of mustard, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce as well. Um, again, that Worcestershire sauce can be changed out for teriyaki sauce. It can be changed out for soy sauce. We can have different flavor profiles, but still eat lean, eat clean, and have a good time. So my turkey, I'm gonna add my breadcrumbs. Again, guys, I use that mustard instead of eggs to bind this together, um, you know, not everything needs an egg when you're making a meatloaf or a meatball, guys. So, you know, if you don't have eggs, this is me just showing you. If you wanted to add eggs instead of mustard, folks, you would go one egg per pound of the ground turkey meat, okay? So again, it's one egg per pound of the ground turkey meat. But instead, I'm gonna use mustard. I really like the flavor of mustard. Um, and I just think it's a great product to incorporate into your diet, okay? So, very simple there, folks, all right? I got that done, right? I'm gonna switch out my gloves so I don't get my utensil here dirty. Okay. Now I have a pan. You can use any pan at home. I have it sprayed down already with some, um, uh, any type of pan spray that you wanna get from your local grocery store. Um, just so that it prevents the sticking of the meatball. I have my scoop here, folks. So we're doing about a two ounce, um, two, two and a half ounce meatball here, okay? So, I scoop them out. All right, and the trick here, guys, is I'm gonna bake these. Traditionally, like if I was doing some type of catering or if I wasn't, you know, promoting this as a health food product, I would start off by pan frying them, getting really crispy on the outside in some oil, shallow fry. Um, and then I would, I would go ahead and uh, finish them off in the oven. So then we just get a nice little turn here again. You know, you don't see that they're too loose. That mustard really helped us keep that, um, this form that we got going on here, okay? And we just roll them. Um, and we're gonna cook them again. So this meatball here, we're gonna cook to 165 degrees. So it may be around, you know, I, I, I'm gonna cook it in my combi oven that I have, so I use a rationale oven. Um, at home, folks, set your oven at 375. Put your meatballs in there for about 10 minutes. Give it a check. You may, you may need another two, three to five minutes. So 10 to 15 minutes at 375, you should be sitting relatively good. Um, all ovens are a little bit different depending on if you have it calibrated or not, right? But um, the main goal here is to make sure that you get it to 165 degrees for the internal temperature. All right, we'll be back with a finished product. Folks, we're back with the turkey meatballs. All right, guys. So again, this is just a delicious product. Um, something that I already have here, my meal prep containers, ready to go, guys. So you just throw a couple of these in there, put a lid on that bad boy, and you're ready to go for the week. You're ready to go. Eat for performance, start eating healthy, but also remember, it can be done flavorful, right? It's not boring. Look at these beautiful things here, folks. Look at that meatball, guys. Look at that meatball. Chef Freddy. Can't go wrong.